I'm Alexander Petri. And I'm Karen Atia. And, and this, this is, is why I'm right about, about pumpkin spice lattes. lattes. Remember when you were capable of feeling joy? The pumpkin spice latte does. It tastes like Ryan Gosling paying you a respectful compliment and then was melted down into a delightful beverage. It tastes like fall, season of mists and mellow fruitfulness. Look, when was the last time an orange thing a majority of white women liked brought you joy? Fair. Enough with the pumpkin spice lattes. It's getting embarrassing. Look, I get it, like we like fall, we like the warmth and the coziness associated with the season, but the pumpkin spice latte has unleashed a wave of this pumpkin spice industrial complex where we slap pumpkin spice on everything, cat litter, beard oral, foot dusting powder, M&Ms, make it stop. Look, the pumpkin spice, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I disagree, it should be in everything. Your cat should be so lucky as to have pumpkin spice in his litter box. Pumpkin spice is an unnatural flavor or maybe a natural flavor, who knows? The point is it's the culture and it belongs everywhere. It just doesn't make sense. There must be some powerful pumpkin spice lobby that like has made us like put pumpkin spice in absolutely everything. Nothing screams America and land of the free home in the basic like pumpkin spice lattes. And that's that. And, and that's, that's why, why I'm right, right about, about pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice lattes. lattes. Pumpkin spice lobby, that's crazy. There is, there's gotta, I don't understand. That was just the warm up. I'm gonna be out of pumpkin spice latte, so watch out world. Yeah. Pumpkin spice lacra is something. Oh, I would drink that. No, you yeah. wouldn't, don't do it though. <laughs>